The NBA is amazing because you have players who instantly come in and make an impact from the age of 18, but you can also have a player in his 20th season at age 38 dominate the league. Today, I'm taking a look at every NBA player and ranking the best from each age starting with age 19 and going all the way up to 42. I just want to make a quick note, all of these ages are as of January 10th, 2023, so any ages that have changed since then have not been accounted for. Without further ado, let's get started. Though some players started the season as 18 year olds, there are currently no players who are 18. The best player at age 19 is Jabari Smith Jr. This season, Smith is averaging about 12 points and 7 rebounds on poor efficiency, but his defense has some amazing upside. He's been matching up against some of the best wings in the league this season and holding his own. I'm sure his jump shot will come around as he was a top pick for a reason and he's had some promising games thus far. Some other notable 19 year olds in the NBA are Shaden Sharp and Jalen Duran. For the best 20 year old in the NBA, I have Paolo Bancaro. Bancaro is having one of the best rookie seasons in recent memory, putting up 21 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, and a steal a game. Despite playing in his first season, Paolo does not play like a rookie as he has shown off his well-roundedness in his time with the Magic and they have been surpassing expectations this season. The NBA has lots of other young talent at 20 years old including Alperin Sengun, Benedict Matherin, and Jalen Green. At 21 years old, the best player is LaMelo Ball. In another stacked age group, Ball takes the cake for me. After coming off an all-star game last season, Ball has not slowed down one bit. This season, the third year guard is averaging 23 points, 8.5 assists, and over 5 rebounds a game while shooting 38% from 3. The Hornets should surround up with some more talent as soon as possible. Some other notable players at age 21 are Anthony Edwards, who I went back and forth with in making this decision. Cade Cunningham, Evan Mobley, Franz Wagner, and Scotty Barnes. At age 22, the best player is Zion Williamson. When healthy, Zion is a top 15 player in this league. His finishing is remarkable and he's an absolute force for the Pelicans offense. The Pelicans have quickly become one of the best teams in the league and hope to have Zion healthy as much as possible. This season, Zion has averaged 26 points, 7 rebounds, and 4.5 and assists on about 65% true shooting. Other notable players at age 22 include Darius Garland and Tyrese Halliburton. At age 23, there wasn't really much of a debate for who this player should be. It's Luka Doncic. The Mavericks will be a lottery team without Luka. He's putting up 34, 9, and 9 and has put together some of the best single game performances of all time this season. He's doing everything in his power just to keep this Mavericks team afloat. The only other player who came close to competing with Luka for this spot is John Morant. For age 24, we have my favorite player in the league, Jason Tatum. Tatum has put himself in MVP conversations this season, averaging nearly 31 points to go along with over 8 rebounds and 4 assists with 61% true shooting. He's also led the Celtics to the best record in the entire NBA thus far. 24 is a very talented age in the league as it also includes Shea Gillis Alexander and Trey Young. At age 25, the best player is Brandon Ingram. There are a lot of players I had in consideration for the spot, but I decided to roll with Ingram. As I mentioned before, the Pelicans have become one of the best teams in the NBA and Ingram had been a big part of that. Before he was injured, B.I. put up about 21 points, 5 assists, and 5 rebounds a night on about 47% from the field and an absurd 47% from 3, hoping for a speedy recovery from him so the Pelicans can return to full strength. Other notable players at age 25 are Bam Adebayo, Lori Markkinen, OG Ananobi, De'Aaron Fox, and Jamal Murray. At age 26, I have Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell has turned it up a notch since joining the Cavaliers this past offseason. He's averaging over 29 points with 5 assists, 4 rebounds, and a steal and a half a game. He's also led the Cavaliers to one of the best records in the East. There were other players that came close to beating out Mitchell for the spot, but I had to give it to him. These players include Devin Booker, Jalen Brown, DeMontis Sabonis, and DeJounte Murray. The best 27-year-old in the NBA right now is Nikola Jokic. What's crazy is 27 is usually seen as the beginning of a player's prime, and Jokic has already won two MVP awards and could win a third straight this season. The Nuggets have the number one seed in the West currently with Jokic putting up otherworldly numbers night in and night out. He's averaging 25 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists, and a steal and a half a game. He was no doubt my pick for 27 year olds, but some other memorable players at age 27 are Andrew Wiggins, Carl Anthony Towns, Luke Cornett, and Zach Levine. What's crazy is three of those players were on the same team at one point. For age 28, the best player is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis is on pace to be one of the best players of all time. He is having another MVP level season averaging 31 points, 12 rebounds, and 5 assists a game with some phenomenal defense. You can't ask for much more from him. The Bucks have again been one of the best teams in the league as well. The only two players at age 28 who have come close to being selected are Joel Embiid and Pascal Siakam. At age 29 we have a player who is having a resurgent season until he unfortunately went down with another injury. This player is Anthony Davis. I'm hoping he can heal up soon because the Lakers are a fun watch when they're at full strength playing at their best. Before the injury, 
AD was averaging 27.5 points, 12 rebounds, 2.5 assists, 1.5 steals, and over 2 blocks a game. He was continuously stuffing the stat sheet while helping lead the Lakers offensively and defensively. The only other player age 29 remotely close to AD is Bradley Beal. As we creep into the 30s, there begins to be less and less players at each age. For age 30, Kyrie Irving is the best player. Since returning to the Nets, Kyrie has been on a tear as the Nets have jumped up to one of the top teams in the East. This season, he's been averaging 26, 5 and 5 on great efficiency, shooting about 49% from the field and 37% from 3. The only other player who is somewhat close to Kyrie is Rudy Gobert. At age 31, the best player is Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi has slowly been working his way back up to full speed and has shown us a few vintage type games as of late. His stats from this season are not going to tell the full story of his play this season as he's been on minutes restrictions but by the end of this season, I'm sure Kawhi will completely look like his former self and turn it up for the playoffs. The two other players worth noting at age 31 are CJ McCollum and Chris Middleton. At age 32, there is still a fair amount of talent, but the best player here is Damian Lillard. The Trailblazers have been slumping as of late, but Dame hasn't shown signs of slowing down. This season, he's put up over 27 points, 7 assists, and 4 rebounds a game to go along with 60% true shooting. He'll look to get Portland back on track as the season progresses. Other notable players that are 32 years old are Draymond Green, Drew Holiday, Klay Thompson, and Paul George. For age 33, I considered three players for this spot, but I ultimately decided to go with Jimmy Butler. As of recently, I feel as though Butler has proved the most at this age. This season, he's averaged over 22 points a game with 5.5 assists and 6.5 rebounds on 62% true shooting. He also has been a defensive hound, putting up over 2 steals a game. The other two players I considered for this spot were James Harden and DeMar DeRozan, but when everything is put together, playoffs included, I had to give it to Jimmy Butler. At age 34, I'm going to have my only tie of the video, and this is between Steph Curry and Kevin Durant. As opposed to trying to rank one over the other, I thought it would be nice to admire how both of these players were made at the top of the league at 34 years old. This season, Curry has put up 30 points and about 6.5 rebounds and assists a game thus far. He remains as the best shooter in the league, making 43% of his threes on nearly 12 attempts a game. He is also flirting with 50-40-90. Durant has put up similar statistics also averaging 30 points with 6.5 rebounds and over 5 assists a game. He is shooting a crazy 56% from the field to go along with nearly 38% from 3 and a league leading 93.4% from the free throw line. Let's hope he heals up quick. We're now getting into the territory where most players are ending their careers with very few remaining as role players on certain teams. There aren't too many players in this league that are 35 and over so it's impressive that I'm able to mention so many solid players and one superstar from now until the end of the video. The best 35 year old player in the NBA right now is Mike Conley. Conley is a great role player for the Jazz still helping run their offense and is a great leader. He's been a solid player all throughout his career and has fallen under the radar quite a bit. He's still putting up 10 points a game with 7.5 assists on a Jazz team that has surpassed all expectations this season. Another noteworthy 35 year old is Conley's former teammate Joe Ingles. At age 36 I was stuck between two players but I believe the player I chose has a bigger impact on his team and that is Al Horford of the Boston Celtics. Al is still a great defender and has also been on fire from 3 this season making them about 44% of the time while shooting nearly 5 a game. He was very clutch for Boston throughout the playoffs, helping play some great defense and shooting the lights out. As a Celtics fan, I'd love to see Horford keep playing with us for a few more seasons. The other player I was considering for the spot was Kyle Lowry. The best NBA player at age 37 right now is Chris Paul. Though he has showed signs of slowing down, he remains a solid point guard on a Suns team that should be more competitive when everyone is healthy. This season, Paul is putting up 13 points, 8 assists, and 4 rebounds a night while shooting 40% from 3. You can't ask for much more from a 37 year old. It would be nice to see him get a ring before he retires. Other notable 37 year olds are PJ Tucker and Taj Gibson. Now at age 38, I think we all know who I'm going with here. Superhuman athlete who spends a million dollars on his body every year, LeBron James. We cannot take LeBron for granted. What he's doing at age 38 has never been done before, especially given the fact it's his 20th season too and the only two players in the league older than him are essentially player coaches at this point. LeBron is still easily a top 10 player in this league and still looks like a beast on the court. He's averaging 29 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists a game. I hope the Lakers make some moves or do something to maximize their potential while LeBron is still playing this good. The only other player who is 38 years old is Andre Iguodala, and we now jump up to 42 years old because there are no NBA players between the ages of 39 and 41. The 42 year old I'll be talking about is Udonis Haslam. Haslam hasn't played meaningful minutes in years, but he is still an active NBA player. The Heat like to keep him around as a mentor. 
He's played in five games this season and actually got to start in one because the Heat were very shorthanded. It's cool to see the Heat keep him in this type of role so that he's still contributing to the team. Well that's it, the best NBA player from every age starting at 19 and going all the way up to 42. Comment below any video ideas you have and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.